Uh, thank you, Chair. I just finding this very frustrating. As one of the veterans in this room that spent over a year of my life in Afghanistan, left six of my soldiers there, but this monument is going to commemorate. 158 Canadian Armed Forces members did not come home. I can't speak for all Afghanistan veterans. I do know what they want. They want a monument. They want transparency. They want a decision and this to get passed so that we can move on. Because right now they, they don't have a place to go commemorate at the national level. The Liberals have talked about consultation. Ms. Blaney brought up the fact, the challenges with the consultation and the data and my VAC. I just spent 20 minutes trying to log in to my VAC account. I can't get in, right? And I'm a fairly educated person with a background uh, under the IT, and I can't even log in to my VAC account right now without making a phone call and talking to somebody on the other end, which who knows how long that, that wait's going to be. I'll tell you what or what veterans don't want. They don't want political interference in anything. They will serve when they were in uniform. They serve whatever government's in power. I serve proudly. The Liberal government that, I, that, that was in power when I first joined the forces in 1993, I served the Conservative government when they were in power for over a decade, and I served under this current Liberal government. No issues there. Veterans will serve whatever government's in power. That's their job. But they want, they don't want obstruction. They don't want political interference. They want transparency. And one thing that they absolutely detest is wasting time. I suggest you read the body language of the veterans that are in the room that are finding this very frustrating, in particular because this is an amendment that's been moved that we're debating now that the Conservatives already indicated they're going to vote for. So why are we talking about it? It's going to pass. So let's just get to the vote. Thanks, Chair.